Welcome to Aragon Active in the Spanish Pyrenees and here we are in our polytunnel amongst all the seedlings that we propagated from our veg uh, last year. We have everything here from tomatoes, four different varieties, peppers, uh, cucumbers, beans, you name it we've got it. It's the month of May and uh, all these seedlings are about to be planted outside but today I wanted to talk to you about composting so take a minute and come with me and let's go to the compost. Composting is a very important part of our whole recycling philosophy here at Aragon Active. And here we are at the composting. What I've tried to do is come up with an easy five point plan to get you going. So step one is to find a suitable location in the garden. And here we are under a beautiful walnut tree. Perfect because it provides the shade which will mean the compost heat retains moisture. Step one. Step two is to make or buy your compost containers. Here we're using old pallets, a meter by one meter 20. What we've done is actually fill in with other pallets between the struts, which means the compost won't fall through, but it still is allowed to breathe. We're also using um, our, our old front door. This is the farmhouse front door complete with lock as a divider. Step two, uh, the container. Step three is to start saving organic waste. Those that of you who've been on our cookery holidays will recognize these little tubs that we have around the kitchen by the workstations to save all waste, which we transfer uh, and then bring up in bulk to the composting. So step three is to save organic waste. Step four is to remember brown waste. Brown waste meaning cardboard or newspaper. Here we're using cardboard that last year was on our vegetable patch keeping down the weeds between the rows. So at the end of the season it comes to the compost pile, is torn up and goes on in an even layer. A single layer being important because if you keep it as a single layer it will decompose and break down much more quickly. Step four. Step five is to turn your compost and I'm just going to remove this panel for a minute. If you'd like to come and have a look at this with me. Okay, turning the compost pile. Ideally, it should be turned between seven and 10 days. This means you don't get compression. This is starting to get a little bit too compressed because it's been left. I don't know if you can see the worms. It's great because it's all being broken down, but it's getting a little bit too compressed, which means it will start to smell and it won't break down as quickly. So. Step five is to turn the pile to make sure it's aerated. And that's what we're gonna do now. With your fork, you just move it across to an empty bin. We've got a three bin system, which is ideal because it gives you this flexibility to always keep the compost on the move. And if you do, come with me, this is the result. This is what we're after. A lovely fine compost that is going to be used under our seeds this year in the vegetable patch. Five easy steps to get you composting. I hope you've enjoyed it. Join us again on a veg patch in the Pyrenees for more tips.